All right, we're here with Coach Franks. Um, his team obviously suffered a disappointing loss, but they should be proud. They played a very, very, very good Greenwood team down the wire. Coach, uh, just your thoughts on the game to begin with. Well, first of all, my kids played hard. They really did. We knew that Greenwood was good coming in. We knew we couldn't make mistakes. We knew we really didn't want to run all the time because they're, they're a fast break team. We tried to pick times running early. It, it, it worked out for us. Uh, shooters are going to eventually hit the goal, and they hit the second half. We matched them for the longest part, and it came down to a couple missed free throws, uh, a ball possession, and a difference in the game. And do you feel like your team was uh, maybe flying under the radar for the most part, or is that, I mean, you certainly have talented players out there, but uh, they may have not gotten exposure and attention that uh, some of those schools did. Now I have some players that can play. We're, we're, we're playing together now. We played pretty good tonight, but not our best game. But uh, the the biggest thing with these guys is it's been all individual. And now this year we play as a team. And when we play as a team and pass the ball, we're a lot better. And uh, I got a couple of guys out there that could help next level. I know they just need to get a look. Devontae Puy, Kirby Jones, Xavier Cousins, and then my, Thomas Hill, 24. He played one year for me. He was my manager last year and played, and he played a great game tonight. He just worked hard, wanted to win. These kids really wanted to win. I just, I, I feel for them right now because we fell a little bit short. Well, Coach, uh, congrats on a, on a season despite the loss. It seemed like you guys had a pretty good year nonetheless. And uh, it was a great game to watch as a, as a neutral uh, spectator. So uh, thank you for taking the time, and uh, good luck next year. All right, thank you.